cameras. This Fresno police body cam video shows police pulling over and demanding that Freddy Centeno hit the ground, but then immediately open fire. The 40-year-old mentally disabled man is hit seven times and dies in the hospital 23 days later. Attorney Umberto Guzar is representing Centeno's family in a lawsuit against the city of Fresno and the two police officers. This is a, a, you know, a bad shooting. It's, it's an atrocity. In Guzar's view, the video shows the officers did not give Centeno a chance to respond to their commands. They tell him, get on the ground. He didn't have a chance to get on the ground. You could count the time from the time they stopped the car. Just on real time, one second before they began to fire. But to Fresno Police Chief Jerry Dyer, the video shows the officers were more than justified. He says the video shows Centeno reached for a black spray nozzle in his pocket, which looks just like a gun. To the shorts, okay, reaching in his pocket, short pocket, go ahead, still in the pocket, there it comes right there, which clearly appears to be a handgun. And the next one, and he begins to raise it. And that's when the officers feared for their life and fired their weapons. Dyer also played the 911 call, which first alerted police to Centeno, in which a woman says he came to her door, pulled a gun, and claimed he was a federal agent. He pulled out the gun and said, you know, he was a federal agent. But Gazar notes, despite the call, Centeno's never raised the nozzle toward the officers and argues they were not justified in shooting him so many times.